Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have got a moon flow for you. So just like with sun salutations, there is such a thing as a moon salutation. Um, traditionally, these are done in the evening. Um, so they will be to wind down and kind of calm down the body. But today, kind of have my own adaptation of one. It's going to be a little bit more energizing. Um, it's going to use the same structure as in with moon flows you usually go from one side to the other side of the mat so maybe facing backwards but just listen to my cues um, and you'll be able to hear what's going on. Uh, these are called a mandala flow um, which I have done a few times before so you might have seen in my other videos um, but yes yeah, seeing as it is a full moon on Friday I thought that I would do a yoga flow in fitting with this. So when we're ready we're all going to come and lie down on our mats into a Sukta Baddha Konasana. So our feet are going to be touching and our legs are going to fall open out to the sides. Palms facing up towards the sky. And we're just going to start to connect to our breathing here. So not making any sudden changes, just kind of observing it. Maybe noticing how easy or difficult it may be with the inhales and the exhales. Just try to make them a little bit more even. Just taking this time to arrive on your mat and start to let go of what happened before and what you've got to do after. On your next inhale, we're going to start to bring the knees towards one another. So maybe using the hands to assist you here. And then we're just going to bring the feet to the outside edges of the mat and just window wipe them from side to side. So dropping both knees to the left, then both knees to the right. This will just release any um, tension we may have created in the lower back area. And it will just loosen this area right up. So just do this a couple more times. And then just bring the knees into the chest and hug them in close. We're going to tuck our noses right into our knees and give ourselves a nice big hug. This might already feel like a really deep, intense stretch down the back of the spine at the start of the practice. So just take it to wherever feels comfortable for you, not pushing yourself too early on in the practice. And then we're just going to start to rock backwards and forwards gaining some momentum, do this a few times and then we're going to come all the way around to our all fours and we're going to take some cat cows here. So we'll start by coming into cows. So we round the spine, arch the spine and our chin comes up towards the sky and our chest and our tailbone goes up towards the sky. Then we're going to round the belly like in a ripple like action coming into a cat and then back to cow. So this is your practice. You can make them as big or as small as you want to, maybe creating more waves in the body, um, and maybe going in little circles from left to right. And this is just really gonna get into all the little areas of the back that we often neglect in our practice and in everyday life. When you're ready, we're going to come to a downward facing dog. So we're going to come make sure our positioning is correct. So our hands, shoulder width distance, feet hip width distance, rooting down into each and every single finger, then pushing our tailbones high up to the sky, coming up onto the toes first. And then we can start to sink the heels down towards the mat, elongating the spine as long as we possibly can. Hearts coming down towards the mat and feel a deep opening down the backs of the legs.
maybe walking your dog a little bit, if that feels nice for you. Ideally, the gaze is towards the belly button, but through to the knees is perfectly fine as well. And then we're going to walk our feet to our hands. So we're going to come high up on our tippy toes and see how slowly and using engaging our core, we can bring our feet to our hands. And then we'll come to a halfway lift. And then we're just going to hang here in our ragdoll. So you can choose today whether to have your hands just resting on the mat or you can catch opposite elbows with opposite hands and hang down like this. Just letting gravity do the work, feeling a nice deep opening down the backs of the legs. Maybe wrapping the, uh, the hands around the back of the ankles and using this to pull yourself closer to your knees, getting a maximum expression at this point in this pose that you can do. And then come to halfway lift. Forward fold one more time. And then we'll come up to standing. Bring our hands up nice and tall all the way up to the sky. Maybe coming up high onto the toes. We're going to catch the right wrist with the left hand. Reach up and pull your right wrist toward, towards the left side of the mat, feeling a deep opening down the side body. come to center. Now catch the left wrist with the right hand and pull the body over to the right side, seeing if you can do this all on your tippy toes. And then lower the feet down to the mat, standing in our nice strong Tadasanas. So we're going to inhale our hands up to the sky and then we're simply going to step our right leg back into a high lunge position here. So nice strong high lunges, hips facing forward, maybe using the hands as a little self assist to make sure that your hips are square. So now we're going to come into revolved skandasana. This is quite an awkward posture the first few times you do it. So maybe just watch and make sure um, that you're getting into the correct position. And then we're going to come to it a few times so you can adapt it to your practice. So we're going to twist round to face the left. And as we do this, our right hip is coming towards the mat and our right foot is turning onto the outside edge of it. So the right hand comes down to the mat. We can turn onto the outside edges of both feet and the left arm sweeps, uh, sweeps over towards the back of the mat. This is revolved skandasana. So just be careful that you haven't got any pain in the knees. If you have, then just release out of it and maybe just come to a less intense variation of it. Then sweep that left arm over the top and we're gonna come into a low lunge and just sweep those hands up to the sky. Maybe coming into a back bend here, coming into a crescent moon shape. Then we're going to push through that back leg and come up into a pyramid posture. So maybe placing the hands on the mat. You want to bring your feet slightly closer together, so about three feet. And your um, legs can be hip width distance just to gain some more balance in the posture. So you might need to bend into the left knee, but we want to try and keep the hips square. So come up high onto the fingertips, elongating the spine, maybe onto blocks if this is not accessible for you or gently resting on the shin, but not putting too much pressure on it. And then just melt your heart towards the left knee. Then we're going to come into Prasarita Padatanasana. So we're simply going to, sorry, I'm going to be facing the wrong way to you, but turning the left toes in and the right toes are already in from the pyramid and we're in our wide legged forward fold. 
And we're going to come up high onto our fingertips, creating a flat back and elongating, gaining space in the spine, and then exhale into the full variation. You can choose to have your hands on the mat, or you can wrap the hands around the back of the ankles and use this to pull you deeper into the posture. Remembering to breathe, nice, long, deep inhales, and then with the exhale, pulling yourself a little bit deeper into the posture. So now we're going towards the face, the back of the mat. So just listen to my cues. We're doing the same positions that we just did on the on one side. So hopefully you remember just turning these right toes out towards the back of the mat and the left foot on a 45 degree angle, feet about three feet apart, hips square, coming down into our pyramid. So coming up onto the fingertips, onto blocks or onto the shin. And then bringing our nose to our right knee into our pyramid. Then we're going to bend through that back knee and come down into a low lunge, sweeping those hands up to the sky, maybe coming into a gentle back bend, creating this crescent moon shape with the back of the body. And then we're coming into this revolved skandhasana. So this time use the left hand onto the mat to push yourself up, then twizzle onto the outside edges of both feet with the left hip coming towards the mat this time opening up the right hand towards the back of the mat. Maybe finding it easier in one side than the other, or maybe finding this side a lot more challenging. Sweep this right hand over the top, trying to do one breath, one action, and sweep back up into high lunge. So you'll be facing the back of the mat. And then we're just going to bring the left foot to meet the right at the top of the mat. So we're in Stasana with your backs probably facing me. So we're going to do this all again. So again, just listen to my cues and hopefully you will be able to follow. So inhale, hands up to the sky. Step the left foot back now into our high lunge. And now we're going to come into our revolved Skandasana. So dropping that left hip down, opening the right arm to the back of the mat. Sweeping the left hand over, coming into our low lunge, maybe creating a gentle back bend here. Placing the hands on the mat to help push you up into pyramid. So right foot forward, left foot on a 45 degree angle, coming up high onto the fingertips first or blocks or using your shin and then melt your heart towards the knee. Then turning those right toes in, coming into our Prasarita Padatanasana. Coming up high onto the fingertips first, then melting the heart towards the mat, maybe grabbing the backs of the heels. Now facing towards the front of the mat again, so hopefully you can see me again. Left foot forward, right foot on a 45 degree angle, coming high up onto the fingertips and then melting the heart towards the knee, maybe getting a little bit deeper into the posture this time. Put that back knee down, come into our low lunge, arms sweeping back. Bring those hands down to the mat so we can twist into our revolved skandhasana. So right hip coming down to the mat, left arm coming to the back. See if you can do it in one flowing movement. 
bringing that left hand round to the front, sweep the right hand up into our high lunge. And then push off the left foot so we can bring both feet to the top of the mat into Tadasana. <sighs> so maybe just catching your breath here, taking a few deep inhales and exhales. Then we're just going to step our left foot back and open up into our goddess posture. So our feet are a bit wider than hip distance and our toes are pointing to the front edges of the mat. And then we're just going to sink down into our hips here. So we're going to have a little stretch. So we're going to bring our hands to our knees and we're going to bend our right shoulder towards the left. And then our left towards the right. Hopefully this feels nice. Maybe feel, and then to the left, maybe feeling some cracks down the spine as you do this. Bring your hands to heart center and we'll hold here for a little bit, firing up through the glutes. And then push up. So now we're gonna turn our front, our right foot to point the front of the mat and our left foot on a 45 degree angle. We're coming into Trikonasana, triangle pose. So we want our feet to be on one long line down the center of the mat, and our arms are coming out long. Our hips are gonna push towards the back, so you can imagine that you're in between one, two walls, and you're trying to fit in one long line. So hips flick over to the left, arms come out long, and our torso comes towards the right, and then we simply just twist the torso coming into triangle, trikonasana. So you can either hook your finger around the big toe, you can come up onto a block, or you can place your hand on the shin, just wherever you can get to today. And then the gaze should be up towards the left hand, but you can keep the gaze down if you need to for balance. Now we're going to bend into the front knee, lower the back knee, come into our low lunge. Bring those hands up for a brief second. Then we're going to come to normal skandhasana. So push into the front foot and then just twist the hips open out to the side. Maybe coming up onto the right toes if you need to, that's absolutely fine. And then we're going to see if without using any hands, we can get over to Skandasana on the left. So coming up onto that left foot, pushing back to Skandasana. Right toes pointing upwards now. And then see if you can twist without using any hands round to our low lunge. Hands coming up high to the sky. Then we're going to push up to standing so we can get into our triangle posture. So push up through the feet, feet on one straight line. So you're probably facing the back of the mat now. So left foot is pointing the back, right foot's on a 45 degree angle. Arms are coming out long. And again, our hips flick over to the rods, the right, and our arms come over to the left. And then we twizzle our bodies, either having your hand on the shin, on a block, or grabbing your two piece fingers around the big toe. gazing up to that right hand. And then we're just gonna turn this left toes in and find our prasarita again, our wide leg forward fold. So hopefully getting a little bit deeper into this posture than you have done previously. And then bringing the hands to the hip, holding halfway here. Coming up all the way to standing. Turn those front toes out to the top of the mat and simply bring the left foot to meet the right. And come to stand into Dasana with the hands at heart centre for a few moments here. So now we're going to open our feet to 
a little bit wider than hip distance, toes pointing to the outside, the front edges of the mat, and we're going to sink down into our malasana. So we're going to go for a count of five here. So all together, we'll go for one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll just stay here for a few breaths. Feeling a nice o deep opening through the hip. maybe making gentle movement side to side, maybe bouncing for a little bit more of a challenge. So now I'm gonna give you the option. You can come to crow pose. So if there's something in your practice, then take a crow and then we're gonna be meet each other in Baddhakanasana. So just simply lower yourself down and come to a seated posture or we can take Titibhasana. So with Titibhasana, this is just a variation of it. Um, so we'll bring the hands through. We want our hands to come through under our legs, pointing forward. And then we're going to sit back onto, onto the backs of our arms, kind of like a shelf. So the deeper you edge them in, the easier it's going to be for you. And then you can just play with the balance here. So maybe keeping the feet on the floor at all times, that's fine. And just coming up onto the toes and just feeling the muscles that are engaging here. Or you can lift them off completely, cross them over, or you can point them out to the sides. And then just simply lower the bottom to the floor or fall onto the floor, however you made it there is absolutely fine. Then we're just going to bring our feet down towards the mat into Baddha But we're going to come to quite a wide Baddha so so I want you to create a big diamond in your legs. And then you can just simply Pull, uh, allow your head to fall towards your feet or you can wrap your hands underneath your legs and then bring yourself closer to your feet like this And then coming up and then we're going to come to a wide legged forward fold so i want you to see if you can clasp your two piece fingers around your big toes and then see if you can open out the right leg and then the left leg and hold out long and then you can release the grip and then just bring your feet to the floor so maybe having your um pose a little bit uh, less wide and that's absolutely fine just as long as you can feel it opening through the groin then we're going to inhale hands up to the sky twist our bodies to the left and come and grab our big toe on the left foot maybe having a bend in the knee that's absolutely fine or maybe just having your hands kind of rest here and then as long as you can feel the opening then that's absolutely fine just take the posture to where you can today Bring the torso up, bring those ar arms up nice and tall, twist towards the right and melt our hearts down to the left leg. The right leg, sorry. <laughs> Keeping both feet, both feet flexed at all times. And then slowly, gently coming up. And then we're going to bring our left foot round to the, um, to the front of the mat. So you can do this by grabbing the two piece fingers and using the momentum just to draw the foot round or just getting there however you'd like to. So we're going to come to 
a seated forward fold. So we're going to bring our hands up to the sky and then reach for the toes. So again, you can bend the knees or you can just come to a more um, passive version of the posture. So just resting the hands on the mat and then just letting your head come to wherever it comes to or having an active variation, keeping the toes, the feet flex, grabbing the toes and pulling your heart towards your feet. And then slowly easing out of the posture. And then we're just going to simply come down onto our backs. And we're going to take a bridge variation, so some bridge waves. So we're going to uh, make sure our fingertips. So now we're going to come into some bridge variations. So make sure your fingertips are touching the back of the heels. We're going to root through the soles of our feet to push our hips up towards the sky. And as we do this, we're going to inhale and sweep our arms up overhead. So we're doing one breath, one action here. So make your um, inhales and exhales nice, deep, long and slow. So inhale, hips up to the sky, arms up overhead. Exhale, bring them back down to your side. Inhale, pushing the pelvic, pelvic floor nice and high up to the sky, sweep the arms overhead and then lower the hips down to the mat. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time in your own breath. Getting nice and deep. And exhale, release. Now we'll just bring those knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. Bring your nose to your knees like we just did at the start of the practice. Then we're going to shift the hips over to the left and just let the knees simply fall over to the right, coming into our spinal twist. Arms into T-shape or cactus and gazing over your left hand. Coming back through centre when you're ready. Shifting those hips over to the right side and letting the knees fall over to the left, coming into spinal twist. On the other side, arms out to T-shape or cactus and gazing over your right hand this time. Coming back through centre, give yourselves one last nice big hug feeling a rounding down the back of the spine, seeing if you can get deeper than before. And then we'll release into our Shavasana, final relaxation pose. So options today, you can come into a traditional Shavasana, legs and arms out long, or you can come to bring your soles to the mat soles of the feet to the mat and just let your knees drop inwards. This is just good for releasing any tension in the lower back. So if you do usually get lower back pain, then this will be good for you. Or coming to finish the class, how we started it. So having our soles together, knees falling out to the side into our Supta Baddha Konasana. So totally up to you. Pick whichever variation is calling out to you today. And then just simply feel yourself melt away into the mat. 
trying to bring your full awareness to this present moment, so not thinking about what you've got to do after, and just really, really melting away. you would like to stay here longer which I highly recommend then please do just pause me and come back to me whenever you're whenever you're ready but if you would like to finish now we're going to start to wiggle our fingers and our toes maybe j making gentle circles maybe straightening out those legs if they were in Baddha Konasana then we're going to bring our arms up long and overhead and stretch the body out really nice and tall being your longest expression of yourself that you can get yourself into And then we'll roll onto the left or right side, completely up to you and assist yourself up to a seated position. So coming to kneeling or cross-legged, whichever you choose today is absolutely fine. And we'll take a couple of releasing breaths all together. So we'll inhale our hands up to the sky. And as we exhale, we're gonna sigh it out through our mouth and bring our hands to heart center. We'll do this one more time, inhale and exhale bring the, th the thumbs to the third eye and we'll bow towards the earth namaste thank you everyone as always for flowing with me so hopefully you enjoyed um that full moon um take on a yoga flow so yes enjoy the rest of your days and i'll see you guys on the mat very soon bye